there has been very dynamic. I mean, you know, you know when the, this the last time we went out there. I mean, there's sometimes you just say, like he had on a different number the other day, and I, I'm saying, okay, who's for? Because <laughs> his practice has been a little bit of getting an old guy. I mean, he always shows up, and he shows up by just. He's fast, he's athletic, he plays with great intensity. Uh, he, he's not the only first year guy on the two deep depth chart, but he's the one that was sort of cast into it, uh, you know, just, just last week. And uh, expect to have Trey back. That's really all I can say about it because medical situations aren't open for discussion. But, it, you know, I will tell you if we expect him back, and we do expect him back. Just not for Arkansas. In that same uh, vein, you've got three first-time starters on defense playing, obviously, a dynamic offense. Yeah. What are your expectations for those three guys uh, in this game? And you know, what set them apart to elevate them to become well, starters? They compete. They're the best we got at their position. That's the only way we, we know how to do it. Um, uh, what I expect out of them, I expect them to make their plays. Uh, you know, everybody on defense has got a blocker assigned to them. So what I expect them to do is be in position when the opportunity to make your play is presented, just, just make your play. We actually uh, had a visit yesterday evening from Steve Wallace, uh, who I thought did a good job, guys, just talking about make your plays. He was, he was the left tackle in the blind side. He was the one that coined the term. And he, he was here yesterday and he thought he did a good job. And that was, what he said was, make your plays. I mean, he, he read in the newspaper that uh, the 49ers were going to keep eight offensive linemen. And he was telling the story that he was the ninth one. He knew he was the ninth one. He went in there to get cut because in his rookie year, they wouldn't cut him because they, he was just making plays becomes whatever we all know we became after that point, you know. Everybody has a beginning place. And what it what it starts with is you just his you just play with great effort and do your job, you know. And uh, that'll take you a long way. So what am I expecting? Same thing kept Steve Wallace on the 49ers and I elevated him to a blind side definition is uh, you know, do your job. I guess finally for me, you always talk about you know big players make big plays on big stages. Yeah. Washon is clearly a big player. He has been on the big stage in yeah. the SEC before. What do big you play. This is a big play. I think we've got I think we've got four or five guys that will make as good a plays on this stage as guys are supposed to make. Uh, I won't give you a, a description, but <laughs> Houston Knight called me a while back and he, you know, we were talking and he said that. Is that quarterback back? I said, well, he is because of the injury. I mean, he, he still remembers, you know, I mean, the plays that Quiz made. Um, Cody made plays. Coop made plays. plays. The, the, the point, though, I'm raising is while Sean's been in SEC arenas more than right. anybody else on your yeah. team, and he's performed there. Right. Does he play, you know, have you seen that he played? Well, I saw at Kentucky team? last year that, you know, he was a 100-yard rusher. Uh, which is what he was. At, uh, at, he, he's been, his consistency is what he's working on right now. But he has shown ever since he's been here, and I, and I, I will bet you he will show it at, George, at, at Arkansas, the same thing he showed at Georgia. I mean, I think he's better right now than he's ever been. And I expect him to make better plays, not the plays he made, I expect him to make better plays than he made, because I think he's a better football player now than what he was when he was a second-year player at Georgia. Uh, like I said last year, I think uh, for various reasons he has some inconsistency, but we've challenged ourselves to be consistent with our, in, in each player, each game, and throughout the season. Not going to impact your travel, is it? Do it doesn't. It doesn't look like it, except it is. It won't get. A, it is coming through there about, you know, somewhere around there about the time we're landing. So 
but we're thank goodness not flying into Fayetteville, the old Fayetteville Airport, because the one, the few things I remember about Arkansas, one of them was the excitement of taking off. I mean, of landing at the Fayetteville Airport. The players had a tradition, which took me a little while to figure out, where they would describe the pilot as being trained in the Army or the Navy. And the deal was that if he was trained in the Navy, he would hit the ground with the brakes on, and it would just jolt you because he was used to the hook, I guess. And they all know the runway isn't long enough to ride it out. The Army trained ones would see it when it got to the end, and they'd jerk your neck at the end by slamming on the brake. So y'all don't have to go through that because it's a new airport. I can see what Sean's asking. <laughs> what you do. But it's a new airport. It's a regional airport. It can land the biggest aircraft there are, so I'm sure technically we don't have to worry about anything. So, but Walton said that one built it from Tyson or somebody. That's about all I can tell you. I can tell you about the airports, and because the Arkansas we're going back to really is not the Arkansas in any way that I left. So. That needs to be said. We're well, good, guys. Yeah, Mark, let's just talk about you. Were you missed last year? Just about what it's going to mean to you to get that count on the field. It means a lot. Uh, it's been a long journey going through uh, with the injury and all, being off, kind of living a semi-regular person's lifestyle, but at the same time, not really. Um, being back around the guys. Um, being able to go through the same thing they're going through totally, uh, just, it's just a good experience. I'm ready to finish this one out this time. So. Mark Coyce, you got a long time playing relationship with Coop. Um, would you just kind of just speak to that a little bit? Um, how that's might be gone. more than, might be more than you think because they probably did this when they were not even in high school. Y'all cousin? And well, I thought it's more than that. Yeah. Um, and then, what kind of year has you know that you've seen him play over here? What kind of year are you expecting to have this year? Best one ever, uh, really. Uh, one thing about Coop, since we've been growing up with everything he does, he's he's a really really consistent player. Uh, you know what you're gonna get from him, and sometimes it gives you even better performance than what you think. Uh, somebody that's reliable. And that's big when it's, you know, third and 16, and you got to throw this dig, and you got to throw it before you break out his cut. You, you know he's going to be there. You know he's going to catch it. So that's that's one thing I've learned, and probably one of the best things with any player that I've played with is that he's really, really reliable. And you've been throwing it in the backyard that way since you were eight, what would you say is your age was the first time you ever threw him? Cool, you didn't know. No, I'm telling y'all, this is funny though. We didn't, me and Coop didn't know each other until the eighth grade. He lived in Albany. And you recruited him in there to be your No. Because <laughs> <laughs> you recruited him in here to be your receiver. <laughs> no, but he lived in the Albany. Uh, they moved from Water Robins to Albany and then moved back. And uh, he actually met well, one of my, she's a girl, one of my cousins. They went to Fagan Mill Middle School. Well, I went there the year before, but I left and went to a different school. But he moved in and went there. And then she found out that we were cousins. And then then she told me, and then that's how we met. Like, we ended up meeting at a football game in high school, in eighth grade. We were just going to watch a high school game, and we met there. And then it went from there. We ended up going to the same high school. We could have went to different high schools, but we ended up going to the same high school. Sean, you feel left out though? <laughs> <laughs> He's not from far down the road. No, yeah. Yeah. How far is it from one of the Yeah, it's about wow. an hour. That's it. I mean, it ain't really bad. Anything stand out from playing Arkansas? I mean, just just that they're like a hard fight, fighting team, uh, very physical. Um, I feel like the players that's out there, they expect to make plays, so they, they make plays. And I feel like and we go out there and do the same thing. Because I feel like our talent is, is the same as their talent, or even better. Um, I just feel like we go out there and, and we do the right things and make penalties, 
to a minimum and, and all that, I feel like we'll come out on top. I mean, I, I try not to play with emotions. Or when I, uh, I'm just trying to go in the game as, as focused as I can be and just go in there with one, on, one mindset, and that's to come out with a win. And, uh, and basically, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure that happens. I know you want to play hard against everybody, but is there more <coughs> umph or just do you feel you got to play, take your game to another level when you're playing somebody like that that's got Buku All-Americans and you know all the kind of reps that those kind of guys have? I mean, I, so I used to be like that, but now this year I'm going, I'm trying to take it as a whole nother um, step and I'm trying to just, just go into every game focus and just knowing what I got to do to come out with the win on, knowing what I got to do to help my team to a championship. And then what's your feeling about getting your season off to a good, I know you all want to win, you want to play good, get your team season off to a good start. It's an important year for you for a lot of reasons too. How important is it for you to get your year off to a good start this week? I mean, it's very, it's very important. Um, just, just from a, a self intake on it. And, uh, I feel like, I feel like if I go out there and focus, you know, and just, and just try to play at my best, on um, just try to have a peak performance or whatnot, I feel like I come out on top, and, and my team will as well. Could we ask Marquez about you? Talk, talk about you, know, you guys played together in high school, and now here you are, your senior year in college together. Um, well, well, from high school, Quay was always like a good leader to me. I mean, he always seemed like he was doing the right thing on the field. He always knew everything. Like, if I had any questions, I need to ask him. I don't know, Quay's don't know. And he always been a tremendous leader to us. Every school I've been to with him. Even before I started playing with him, like they said, we met in eighth grade and we was on different fields. He always had that impact on the team that told us that we had to play hard against him because he was going to do his best every game. And Quay was a hard worker in high school. He still is now. Probably one of the most composed quarterbacks I know. Um, and he's a real good guy. I mean, my best friend, cousin. We always been teammates for a minute, so.